33,000 feet above the border between Norway and Sweden, a CRJ-200 jet cruises on autopilot during a late night mail run for one of Sweden's largest cargo companies. ILS approach to runway 01, inbound heading 009. Minimum it's been a routine flight, and the plane is expected to land in about 30 minutes. Approach. We need to climb and turn right. Acknowledged. And according to last ATIS, we can expect light wind and zero. What the hell? Suddenly, the captain sees his plane is in a steep climb. He pushes the nose down. What? What? The pilots can no longer make sense of what the plane is doing. Mayday, mayday, mayday! Air Sweden 294, mayday, mayday, mayday! 294, understood, mayday. What is the nature of your emergency, please? The plane loses almost 10,000 feet of altitude and speeds towards the ground at more than 450 miles an hour. Oh. Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. West Air Sweden Flight 294 hits the ground at almost 600 miles an hour. The plane is obliterated. It takes three hours before rescue helicopters arrive. Even from the air, it's obvious the pilots could not have survived. The next day, a team of investigators from the Swedish Accident Investigation Authority, known as the SHK, arrives at the crash site. Investigators waste no time analyzing the wreckage to pinpoint the northbound plane's orientation as it crashed. That's the front of the plane. So they were traveling east. This is the left wing, all right. But it's in the wrong place for a plane flying east. This is Arvidsson's first clue about the accident. The left wing is found in the south end of the crater, and the right wing is in the north end. For a plane traveling east, it should be the other way around. If they were coming in this way, and the left wing is over there, and they must have been upside down. The position of the wreckage and the size of the crater paint a picture of a plane hitting the ground off course upside down and at a blazingly high speed. Incredibly, both of the plane's black boxes survive the crash. They're sent to France where the data can be downloaded. Investigators hope the data will shed light on why the plane was so badly out of control.